day. Our next match is women's doubles. Bowen Sint and Jan Sian Sint up against Miyuki Maeda and Satoko Suetsuna of Japan. And there's two women's doubles pairs that will contest this semi-final. Seeded four and five. The Japanese pair. The higher of the two seeds. And so, since the seeding was done, the Chinese combination has shot up five places in the world ranking. To now be above the Japanese pair. Well, what a match they had yesterday. The number four seeds, Miyuki Maeda and Satoko Suetsuna. Absolute thriller. An hour and 29 minutes they needed to beat the 2010 champions here, the number seven seeds and the home favourites, Shinta Muliasari and Yao Lei. Seven match points saved in that deciding game. Well, for their opponents, yesterday they disposed of the number one seeds from Japan. Mizuki Fuji and Oreka Kikiwa in two straight games. but wonder if the Japanese pair are feeling the after effects of such a long quarter final. 18 20 down they were in that deciding game. And as I was just saying, had to save seven match points. And the number five seeds going up five places in this week's world ranking to number five. Uh, career high of number five during their third day at that status this their sixth semi-final of the year from seven tournaments played and that really is remarkable having won their, or battled their way through to three finals already Swiss Grand Prix Asian Championships and India Super Series as well so the Chinese pair, 19 and 22 years of age. Japanese pair, 26 and 31. And their world ranking down one place to number nine this week. And they are the number four seeds. They were the number one seeds last year. And lost in the quarter-final stage. So this, for the Japanese pair, their first ever semi-final here in Singapore. There's Maeda, the 26-year-old, my partner, 31-year-old Suetsuna. Well, for the Japanese pair, nine tournaments prior to this this year. And this their third semi-final. Kenshin Jun of Korea, Klaus Schlieben. Austria, our service judge. Well, the Chinese combination hold a remarkable record so far this year. All six previous tournaments they've played in they have lost to the eventual champions Ladies and 
Kaykınır, Omarlay, Miyuki'nin Maeda, Katako, Kaykınır, Bakın, Omarlay, Bao, Miyuki'nin, Tung, Kaykınır, Kaynar, Tung, Kaykınır, 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 Miyuki'nin Maeda, Bravo, Play. So the youngsters from China trying to make it through to their fourth final of the year. Far side of the court. Oh dear me. Well, a complete miss hit from Tong Xiangsi. One love. This was the one that came off the frame of the racket. No mistake with the second opportunity. Well, this is the third meeting between these two pairs in this Japanese combination and yet to register a victory. And so this vault call, Klaus Schlieben, the service judge for the Japanese pair playing yesterday. And he was calling faults on Suetsuna's serve yesterday as well, and I think he was absolutely right to do so. Oh, honestly, I'm surprised that more players don't get called more often. It's the definition of a waste. Defined in badminton terms as below the lowest rib. And the waistline appears to be getting higher and higher as far as I can see. And as far as the Chinese pair are concerned, Bao Yixin really does love to go forward to the net. Former World Junior Champion in 2010 in both women's doubles and mixed doubles. Doing one of mixed doubles nowadays in the senior level as well. Serve finds the back line. So, so no, I wasn't Three. convinced by the call. Certainly talking yesterday in the quarter-final Japanese pair of how much Maeda has improved at the front of the court. An awful lot of that is because she's been playing some mixed doubles lately with Hirata. And the Japanese coaches, Park Jubon, on the right as we look at them, and the world and Olympic champion. Formerly representing Korea. Oh. 
Yeah, that clear demonstration of how she's improved at the front of the court. Miyuki Maeda. into one of the outstanding women's doubles and mixed doubles players of the generation. That's interesting. Japanese keeping the shot off on her partner from TMC. Oh, the attacking player, what was that? Three or four slashes at Chong Sian Sin before moving forward to make the kill. of their defensive play, but I have to say uh, they're beginning to add a new dimension to their games, the ability to attack and to attack earlier on in matches. <laughs> lovely play, lovely disguise. And back level. that again a bit of a discrepancy amongst the players as to whether the shuttle should be changed or not Japanese said the shuttle was fine umpire agreed with them into the nets and once again difference of opinion between the two pairs on changing the shuttle advantage really burst onto the world scene last year when they won their first and only super series title 
the Japan Open and what a tournament they had. Beat Chen Wen Sing and Chen Yu Chin in the final to save two match points in the second game before going on to win. But they beat in the very first round in Japan last year their opponents of today when their opponents were the number two seeds. Strapping on the right wrist there of Suitsuna. Service fault called again. <laughs> Struck above the waist. Same call as before. from Hunan province in central or rather in south China there she is again let's look at her movement at the front of the court Chinese players have won the World Junior Championships with different partners and formed their partnership in 2011. Just four tournaments together last year, including that win in the Japan Open. It's interesting to me that the two Chinese players both gaining experience last year. And all the more experienced players on the world tour. Bao Yixin played a certain number of tournaments with Cheng Shu, who was former world number one, with Zhao Yunlei, and Zhang Xiansin, teamed up with Margin, and of course, former world number one with Wang Xiaomi. Give them experience and then put the two youngsters together and you've got a formidable partnership.
What a lovely return of serve. Just rushing over the shuttle with the backhand action. Oh, that's clever. So to is that. Oh. Well, considering they're such a new pairing. That's an incredibly well constructed rally. Constructed rally, and then the five game points. Olympic Games 21 15. And what a lot of contrast in the body language between the two pairs at the end of that rally. 19 minutes of play for 21 15. Thank you. 
question in my mind is whether Maeda and Suitsuna after that marathon match yesterday evening against the former champions Sari and Yale from Singapore whether or not that has not only taken its physical toll but whether it's taken an emotional toll too seeing a little flat today in comparison to yesterday's drama and excitement and that's quite understandable quite natural to have a bit of a reaction to such a, a great match for the one down the centre in between the two players and both leaving it for the other. Sin. And she says that shuttle's absolutely fine. moment it was going to come back in. Five, oh. To be going a long way out when it left the racket. And by the time it finished, the drift he brought it awfully close to that sideline. on this semi-final.
point of disappointment there from Suat Suna, all too obvious. And the Japanese pair just felt that last couple of rallies, they just knew how important it was to try and get back on level terms, playing with a little more urgency. Disappointment from Maeda in there. You can almost see her thinking, my goodness, what have we got to do to win these rallies? Third shot from Maeda, but then her partner making an error on the next one. Again, players can't agree about the shuttle. It's very much become a feature of badminton, and a feature that I have to say I don't particularly like. It's all part of the psychology nowadays, though, isn't it? Any way to get the upper hand, well, that's perhaps she wishes she'd change the shuttle now been called on a low serve a couple of times, perhaps lost confidence. between these two pairs, both going to the Chinese combination and both of them in two straight games. Park Jumong needs to work some magic here. Even he's scratching his head as if to say, well, I'm not quite sure. Chinese pair last year, as I said a little earlier, only four tournaments played last year, and at least a semi final in three of those four, including two finals and a win. It's not a bad start to a partnership, is it? Seeds look bereft of ideas at the moment.
Eight point advantage now to the Chinese youngsters, and I'm not sure exactly what the Chinese plan is, the what the Japanese plan is at the moment. Seems to be no real tactical ploy. They're almost certainly both physically and mentally drained after last night's quarter-final. Just can't raise themselves to the same inspirational level as they did yesterday. And sadly, errors are now flowing from their rackets. Seven straight points for this Chinese pair. Celebrations from Bao Yi Sin and from Xian Sin. Two points away from their fourth final of the year. Yet to win a title, though, in 2012. Opportunities to book their place in yet another final. Oh, they should even miss that so it's sooner. And for the number five seeds, the youngsters from China, Bao and Sin and Chong Tianxin, well, very workmanlike performance. Just 35 minutes in duration and sadly for the Japanese pair who had such a thrilling quarter-final yesterday just couldn't raise their games and their spirits to that same high level. Outplayed today as the scoreline suggests 21-15, 21-8 in just 35 minutes. <laughs> 